Reading with Elf fans. Starting off on a new year, we're going to read a new book from a new author. Let's say thank you to Mrs. Ristory for sending us this book so we can feature it on Reading with Elf. It's called Kaya Lives in the Moment. Kaya is a beautiful girl with a head full of big bouncy curls. She wakes up every morning to the sun and goes straight to her phone for fun. She thinks to herself, what will I do today? Oh, I know. First, I'll do some TikTok videos to get my likes up. Then I'll play on my PlayStation to be Johnny and Fortnite. Then later on, take pics with my new ring light. She's so caught up in her thoughts, she doesn't hear mom calling. Kaya, come down for breakfast, my love. Brush your teeth and give your face a scrub. All the while, Kaya is thinking about her day of fun. She gets up with her phone in hand and trips and tumbles down to the floor. Ouch! Oh no! I cracked my phone! She lets out a wail. Now what will I do with my day? Dad runs upstairs. Kaya, darling, what was that noise? She looks at, she looks at Adam with sorrow in her eyes. We must get my phone fixed at once, she replied. After breakfast, they head to the phone store. Mom suggested they go to a park, but Kaya lays her head against the car door. She says, I would rather wait for my phone, with sadness in her voice. Mom says, but Kaya, my darling, the day is filled with another choice. She is ready now. We can go run at the park or maybe shop at the mall. We could go get ice cream with every flavor and eat it all. We can go bike riding, skating, or maybe even go to the pool. You can invite Shauna, Lauren, or even Jewel. All the while, Kai is shaking her head no. I want to just go home and get on my game till we get the call that my phone is fixed. Dad lets out a sigh. Okay, Kaya, as you wish. Mm. The family returns home. Kaya running upstairs as if her life depends on it. Fortnite, here I come. She starts to do the floss as she gets ready to hook up her game. I hope Johnny is ready for this beatdown because I'm the Fortnite queen. Then all of a sudden, the skies turn gray. There is a storm brewing, Dad says. Moments later, as Kaya is deep in her game, there is a rumble and a tumble, and the skies open up. Rain is pouring in it, so bit much. A nearby tree falls on the power lines, and just like that, the house goes dark. dark. No phone, no game, not even my ring light. What will I do for the rest of the night? Kai was at loss without her precious things. But mom and dad had a solution. Let's light candles and play a game. Kai was unsure at first. Oh man, that's not what I had in mind. Mom says, well Kai, why won't you hide? And I'll find. Ooh, a game of hide and seek is a treat, she thought to herself. I haven't played that in weeks. So the family played together and laughter roared through the house. 
They spent the evening joking and running until they finally passed out. The next morning, Kai awoke to the power hat restored. Mom! Dad! She yelled. Can we go get my phone from the store? Back to planning her day as usual. TikTok, Fortnite, ring light. She was so excited to get her day started. Yes, Dad said. After we eat and get dressed, we will head out to get your phone. But I was thinking we'd go to the park. Kai said, well, I guess, but I have plans to play the game with my friend Clark. Dad sighs in disappointment and says, Kai, there is more to life than phones and social media games. Why don't you go outside and play with Nessa and James? I see why their parents don't give them phones and game systems. They want them to enjoy moments and play along with them. You should. Because once you get older, you don't have that chance anymore. They get to the store and back to the phone. Kai goes, face buried deeply within a big smile and grin. Oh, phone, how I miss thee. We shall never part ways again. You will see. She sings that little tune to her phone all the while until they reach home. Meanwhile, instead of riding home, they ride to the park. Mom yells, Kaya, put your phone down and look out the window, sweetheart. She looks up and sees Nessa, Johnny, James, and Clark swinging on the swings and playing ring toss. Come on, let's have some fun. Kaya again unsure, says, well, I guess. She decided to give her phone some downtime, went outside with her friends to enjoy the sun, have fun, and unwind. There is more to life than just social media, but it's the moments that take our breath away, which Kaya learned that day. Children, put down the phones and electronics. Run. Play. Be free. It's much better just being honest. I hope you enjoyed the new book. Make sure you share and subscribe. Have a great night and be good.